think everyone knows that exercise is a good way to strengthen your muscle. You do lift weights, your muscles get stronger. Exercise, especially aerobic exercise, is also a good way to strengthen your mitochondria. The folks, the scientists who study exercise have known this for a long time. So exercise can specifically target two of the three changes we were seeing in the healthy older adults who had the weaker hearts. So using this, we did a small clinical trial where we asked some of the healthy older people in our study to engage in a light exercise program. We measured heart function, skeletal muscle function, and mitochondria biochemistry in our trial participants before and after the program. Then we compared this to participants who were in our control group, so they were not given any kind of exercise program. And what we found is doing the exercise improved heart function and also improved the mitochondria biochemistry. So it looks like a simple thing, just getting up and doing a little bit of exercise may be able to keep your heart healthy as you get older. Now we're following this up with a larger study to ask more detailed questions. Questions like, how much exercise is enough? Will everybody benefit from the exercise? Are there ways to tell who will improve with exercise? And are there ways to tell how much exercise each person is going to need to see an improvement? We are also starting to look into one more thing, that nitrogen problem that we had found. As you recall, people with weaker hearts have problems with their nitrogen pathways. We're concerned that the nitrogen pathways that feed the hearts and skeletal muscle is a bit off. The best way we think to improve nitrogen pathways is by nutrition. Dietary protein is where we get most of the nitrogen that our body needs. So in another separate study, we will be feeding people nitrogen from different food sources. We want to see if boosting nitrogen can help those with weak hearts. We also want to know what kind of nitrogen is a good source uh, for feeding the heart. Beef, fish, dairy, vegetables, beans, maybe some other sources. What you'll notice about these studies is they use very simple interventions, diet and exercise. We're not trying to use all kinds of fancy drugs to help change the hearts of people who are healthy. We hope to find the right combination of exercise and nutritional support to keep people going in their old age. I think these are important and exciting questions to look into, and I'm glad to have the chance to be involved in these studies.